in India even today many Indians defecate outside in open fields, in railway tracks and anywhere they can find place and so our sanitation habits are not good enough. This human waste falls in water bodies or through soil enters the ground water and this can be a source of diseases. Like I told you that many pathogens are found in water and they can cause diseases. In slum areas the diseases are more because their drains are open, they are filthy, they, do, they are not educated, literate, so they don't, their habits are not correct habits and the result is that they fall sick more often than others. So sanitary habits are very important. You know in India we have some very good habits also like we have this habit of washing hands and cleaning ourselves with water and soap. This is something very good and this should be retained. But the bad habits like defecating outside should be avoided. That is not a good thing because that can pollute water. Now in places like hospitals or melas and fairs and wherever there is a large gathering, there these things have to be more clearly demarcated because many times just a pit is dug and everybody is using that pit. Now that can also be a source of infection. If one person has infection, it can be passed on to others. Then public places like railway stations, then airports, bus stops, these are some of the places where lots of people come and use toilets and if their toilet habits are not correct even in the schools and institutes and offices if even one person's habits are not correct it can spread diseases to many. So if you are a good person your you can say your cleanliness can be measured through your toilets or your toilet habits. So these things are very important. For this, now we have some methods like on-site disposal, then septic tanks. These things help in disposing of the human waste. Septic tanks, on-site disposal. In on-site disposal, scavenging is not required and directly the waste through covered drains goes to the biogas plant. So it can be immediately recycled for a better product. So wherever you are, whether at home or outside your home, if you are using toilets, please be very, very careful and leave it. The good sense is that always think that I must leave the toilet in a condition that when the next person comes, it is usable, clean and above all hygienic. Generally in public places these th toilets are so bad that one does not even feel like using. But then question is who has spoiled them? People like you and me? If we were all careful and if we were all doing our own duty and if you are outside, if you were using sulab shachalas or other proper places then this kind of thing will not happen. I am sure as young children you must be keeping toilets of your school very clean and you must be using soap for washing your hands every time you went to toilet whether at home or in school or outside. It is very important to keep yourself healthy and your community healthy.